Perhaps you wonder how components actually work in PineGraph, how they are defined, where is this information, like editable areas and the names of the component, where is this stored? And all this information is simply stored in HTML code of the component in special attributes, data PGC. And here we define editable areas, here and here. And perhaps you're thinking, oh, there, there's a lot of attributes that will be added to my HTML code. But that's just the definition of the component. And definition doesn't have to be included in your production website. So if we take a look at how the instance look like, so let's see the code. So these special PGC fields are really minimal. So the component has data PGC and then the, the ID of the component. So that's the component instance. And then every field just has data PGC field with the ID of the field. So it's just one extra attribute per component and one extra attribute for each editable field. And that's really not a lot. So it would be even possible to run a process that would remove these fields when you would prepare your website to be pushed to production servers. But personally, I don't think, feel that's even necessary um, because we have so much other things going on in HTML nowadays, our websites like frameworks and uh, plugins and big uh, images, that these extra attributes don't really make uh, any difference to the size of the page. But on the other hand, they let you organize and manage the content of your websites and the elements of your websites uh, in a very efficient way.